We just finished a complete bedroom makeover for our Airbnb property. I cannot wait to show you guys, but let's take a look back at where we started back in April of 2022, all the way until where we are now. All right, you guys, the bedroom. We're going to be ripping out this hideous carpet. This is the wall that I am planning on doing an accent wall with. I am gonna be putting wood designs on this wall. But after we take the carpet out, we will be painting in this room. The rest of the walls thinking just white. I would love to keep the wood here and then we'll have the white oak flooring. As far as a bed goes, I'm thinking a queen size bed frame. That's a wooden tone as well. And then two nightstands, maybe just one nightstand. The raffia over here uh, for the curtains. And then along this wall over here, thinking of having a a desk um, instead of a dresser because you know a lot of people aren't gonna need to be putting things into a dresser but sort of a desk that doubles as a little TV stand media stand thing at the end of the bed against the wall here we'll have a TV in here so that we can deck that out with Netflix and Hulu to accommodate our Airbnb guests let me show you my mood board here is what I'm sort of thinking here is the white oak flooring and then up top as you can see that's the accent wall that I was talking about so I'm gonna have the these are gonna be wood but they're gonna be painted the same color as the accent wall. they're gonna be sticking out about a three quarters of an inch or so from the wall all different directions and all different um, widths of wood going on there as well this is the type of bed frame that I just absolutely love we might even have an accent chair over here as well in the corner and then of course more plants for our guests to enjoy some fresh air let's get to it we're gonna start removing some carpet we are going to start here in the bedroom and we're gonna start in a corner and just start ripping out this carpet all of the carpet up here is super old and then in here especially it's got stains like no other I think there were pets here before, so you can only imagine what is on this carpet. That's it for the carpet in this room, but as you can see, we've still got the padding that we've got to rip up as well. And under that, that is when we'll officially see what flooring is there. All right, here's our first pile of the bedroom. Not too bad. Won't be that bad carrying them downstairs. Or maybe we should throw them out the window. Ah, I like you thinking. We need to remove all of the tack strips and all of the staples that were holding the carpet down. So for this wall over here, we are gonna be tying in the blue color that I have throughout every single room in the Airbnb. I also want to make it into an accent wall by putting some different designs with wood MDF. And so right now what I'm gonna be doing is designing that and then just really planning out what pieces I need to go grab from the hardware store so that we have got the exact amount and and the just the design laid out here So 
so it's time to start getting these guys cut. So now it's time for the fun part. I get to tape off the wall because this wall only is going to be my accent color that I've been using throughout the Airbnb. But I'm gonna take some of my regular painter's tape and then I've also got this stuff that has the plastic on the edges so that I can also tape off some of the ceiling because I'll be spraying this. So I don't wanna get any of the blue paint on the ceiling because that would be a bad thing. I'm not gonna be painting the ceiling this time um, because it's actually in really good condition and it's basically already white, so no reason to do that again. Now that the room is completely taped off with my plastic and tape, I am ready to paint. And a lot of you guys have probably guessed it. We're going with the teal that is both in the kitchen and in the sunroom. So let's open this guy up and load it in our sprayer. So remember, this is the custom paint that I created with Beyond Paint. And then what I did is I went to Home Depot with a dried color swatch of that color I created. And then I had them make that color with regular wall paint. So that way I could have as close as possible. It's probably not exact, but this is as close as I could possibly get to the same color as the kitchen cabinets. I absolutely love this. Can't wait to get the second coat on, but we gotta let this dry, of course. So in the meantime, you know me, I'll be doing some other things, replacing some outlets, probably cleaning off of, cleaning off the walls so that I can also paint white. Second coat going on. Now that the wall's dry, it looks even better. And although I wanna just sit here and stare at this wall all day long, we gotta keep on moving to get this project finished. So next up, I'm gonna continue taping off all of these areas where I don't want the white paint now so that then we can go ahead and spray all of the white.
When we were taking the tape off of this wall, a little bit of the paint stuck to the tape. We didn't have that issue anywhere else. I'm not really sure what exactly happened, but I'm just gonna take my brush and the blue paint and just cut in a little bit. No big deal when that happens, just a little bit of a pain in the booty. I know exactly what happened. Let me, let me, let me just tell them what happened. No. Laura comes over there. No, oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 Today, we are gonna be focusing on this area right behind the door. So I decided that I'm going to be putting a desk in here and although the door kind of opens right to it, I think that if I get a thin enough chair or even something like a stool to go underneath the desk, that this area will be usable as a desk. And so what I need to do now is go ahead and sand all of those down all of the spackling down so that we don't have any rough areas and then we'll get to putting on the wallpaper So now that I've got the wallpaper up, and by the way, I think it looks fantastic, I am going to utilize one of the shelves that was here before to go ahead and create the desktop itself. Look at that, you guys. We are level. Booyah. So, keep watching. I am going to go grab some decor and we're gonna pretty this space up. because the sanding of the floors really made a lot of dust in the window sills. And also we just need to make sure that any old hardware from any old curtains or shades that was on here is removed so that it's not in the way for the installation of the new shades. And here we did the blackout, same color, but they're, they've got that additional backing on their blackout. So because it's a bedroom, we don't really want that light, diff like diffused light in here, like at night and stuff. So we did blackouts. And then if people want the daylight, then they can just open it up like that. No big deal there. It's coming together.
So up until now, it's been a lot of demo, it's been a lot of projects, but now we finally get to do some pretty things and get this room looking like an actual room and a functional room for our guests that are gonna stay in our Airbnb and so that they can actually have a place to sleep here in this bedroom. So we're gonna be putting together our bed frame. Um, Birch sent us this bed frame. We'll link it down below. It's actually really cool and the assembly is in less than five minutes, which is even better. But I love that it's wood, but it's a natural wood. And that's kind of what I've been doing throughout the whole Airbnb is kind of playing with different wood tones. So I didn't want everything matchy matchy. We've got dark trim. We've got a little bit of some lighter brown floors. The sunroom has the light floors. The kitchen has the lighter wood. So tying the lighter wood in with the bed frame is exactly what I wanted to do. We have a bed, so exciting. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time coming before we were able to get to this step. Our guests are going to just be sleeping on a cloud, honestly. This thing is so comfortable and we know that that's something that's super important when you are hosting as an Airbnb host because that's like the number one reason why people get Airbnbs is to sleep and you wanna have a really comfortable bed, which we do. So next steps are to make the bed, get the nightstands in here, and then we've gotta grab a couple of last minute things as well. All right, got the bed made with the sheets and we're going all white in here. I've been doing a lot of research for Airbnbs and it's just, a pretty much a practice across the board that white is what is the best to use for bedding because for a couple of reasons one it just looks clean and then two it's really easy to clean so if it starts getting stains or things like that they're super easy to bleach you don't have to worry about you know a stain on a different color and then not being able to get that stain out and so on and so forth. So I did grab white bedding. At first I thought it was weird too, but I really do think that it will be the best in the long run for the upkeep of the bedding here. And plus this is super comfy. I found it at Home Goods, and it's, I love the texture as well. It kind of gives us another dimension and I really like it. All right, it is time to put the nightstands in their place. I did redo these. They were white, but um, they were not done very well. So I just sort of revamped them a little bit. And then I also cut the base off and added some gold legs. And then I freshened up the old hardware. I love that these are actually mid-century nightstands, but they just have a new life. And that's kind of the whole goal of this Airbnb is to have a little bit of the old with a little bit of the new. So that's why I'm keeping a lot of the character in here as much as possible. Um, but then also adding in some new things. So each of these nightstands are gonna go on both sides. And then we've got lamps. And then we've also got really convenient power strips. And we'll show you what we are doing to keep our guests in mind uh, for them to just be able to charge their accessories, their phones, things like that, when they are here staying at the Airbnb. All right, we had you guys vote over on Instagram. So if you're following over there, thanks for voting. I was torn between four lamps from Target and this was my gut and a lot of you guys agreed with me. I just love the the roundness. I know it sounds weird, but like I think that the geometric shape of the wall and then this complement each other really nicely. It's not too square, it's not too round. And so um, I think these are gonna be absolutely perfect for these nightstands here. And then also it'll just kind of illuminate the room once we get them all plugged in and have the blinds shut. I think that these are gonna really give off enough light if someone wants to read. They're also dimmable, so that's really nice too for either side and either guest. Here it is. And like I said, it's dimmable, so it can go like pretty bright. And then it can go down a little bit for like a little night light. 
So we got these little outlets and so it's, we only had one outlet back behind the bed and that's not enough for like multiple things plugged in, lamps, cell phones, laptops, whatever people have. So we got these little outlets and they're gonna go right here on top of the nightstand. You can plug in two things and then three with USB. And so I think this will be perfect. You can also like put your phone right here like this if you're charging it, which I thought was really convenient as well. Um, so in order to keep these here and kind of deter people from taking them, I really don't think they will, um, but we're gonna put them with some command strips right here and right here, and we're just gonna stick them to the top of the nightstand. Perfect, now it won't come off. I'll be stuck right there, perfect for charging. And I think I'm also going to mount this. What a crazy 14 months this renovation has been. Again, I cannot believe the before and the after. Let me show you. As with this whole property, it has been a long time coming, but I am so happy with the way that it turned out. And my favorite part is probably looking back to the very beginning in April of 2022 and seeing my mood board and my vision and then now seeing it in real life because I was able to do that feature wall just as I had planned. We've got the wood frame bed. We've got all of the blue throughout. It just came together so well and I couldn't be more pleased with it. I hope you guys also enjoyed this video and also just enjoyed coming along with us as we looked back at the whole process. I can't wait for people to be able to stay here. I know that this is probably one of the more important places in our Airbnb and I really hope that guests feel at home and welcome in this space. Up until now you guys have seen the bedroom makeover, the bathroom makeover, the kitchen makeover and so next it's only right to show you the sunroom makeover. So get subscribed down below so that you can see this room get fully transformed and get ready to rent it out to our guests via Airbnb. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week and I'll see you on the flip side.